ready for this? Get down, brother. Get down on it. Hey everybody, welcome to Full Spectrum Cycling. This is show number 269, dude. 69! Nice. <laughs> that was a total Chris Treater nice right there. <laughs> is that how he does it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it was hot. Heck an A it was. Still hopefully, is. Hopefully it's not anymore today. Not as. Right? Tomorrow's supposed to be lovely. That was yesterday, dude. Or yesterday. <laughs> internet time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tony's back in the studio after his Sheboygan run. Got JK over there representing Irie Landman. Yeah, twice. I didn't even realize it. It's all, oh. it's all in functionality, though. Right on. And it's soaked wet. Mm. By design, because it's a wise thing to do. Oh, keeps you cool. Oh, yeah. It's, like, it, it, it's, like, the, it's like the old school southern air conditioner where yeah, you just swamp. put like a wet sheet up in the window and yeah. let it blow through let there. Let it blow through. Yeah. 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 It worked very well yesterday. Swamp cooler. Swamp cooler. All it does is like, it, I guess it's already 100% humidity anyway right. down there. So it just doesn't really it. matter. Yeah, for sure. It's a delightful, delightful hack of. But I always forget about it until about this time of year. And then it's like, ah, this have, would have been so damn brilliant. Ha having suffered through the last two, three. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Like, you know where that so would have been nice good. was uh, backyard barbecue. Yeah. yeah. It, was, yeah. Uh, it wasn't It was too bad it's yet. It was toasty, though. It was warm, it was but it wasn't, it wasn't gruesome warm yet. That was WMSE's backyard barbecue, by the That's way. That's right. It was. And it, it was, was fantastic. It was a good show. I, for some a band I'm not familiar with, I was happy that that's yeah. who they got because it was awesome. Oh, uh, Guided by Voices. Guided by yeah. Voices. I'm not super familiar with them, but oh. I liked all the noises they made. I feel that they were a little upset that people didn't really know anything until they pulled out Teenage FBI. <laughs> Yeah, well, we looked at the set list, and J.K. said, I don't know him. <laughs> I, I know Teenage FBI and Hey, Hey, Black Girl. I mean, that's their that's their two hit songs. And let's face it, that was their – yeah. Uh, teenage FBI was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They're probably still getting royalties from it. That's probably why they're still existing. Could be, yeah. <laughs> so shut up and play it because right? it's great. Yeah. So I noticed that uh, the lead singer, the lead Bob, Bob, Bob the main Bob – uh, did the Roger Daltrey mic trick. Mm -hmm. He likes to do that. Right. And I, one of the guitar players was doing the Townsend windmill and the bass player was doing the... Like, Terribly upright. Well, and, put his, and, and putting, and putting his foot on his leg, like, like balancing like, which I can't do because I'm going to fall down because that's my bad ankle over there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they did a lot of rock god looking things. They've been together for 35 years? They have 35 albums. I think it's 40 years. It's probably been 40 then. Yeah. yeah, they have they've they're very prolific. They do rock god stuff. I think the best show was Buffalo Nickel. Oh yeah. I think it would That have, will that's going to be a regular thing for me to see. I would oh, like yeah. to see it indoors in the dark and Absolutely. more atmospheric because I think being in the daytime it sort of lost some of its you know, I think what he's doing before the actual song, all the atmospheric stuff is kind of him getting his instruments to sound the way he wants and mm -hmm. getting tuned up, but he's using that as cover for it, which is awesome. And I just think that would be really cool with good lighting and good, yeah. you know, good darkness, you know, in the club or whatever. The whole show was great. The yeah. whole, the whole yeah. day. Had we a lot of beer. There, we he got kept there. his snark down, too. He, he yeah, pulled yeah. the good snark at the Vivari in one of the first shows right at the end when he's just like, I just want you all to be good to each other and treat each other well and i want you to shut the fuck up while i'm playing this song <laughs> the <last laughs> it was like yeah dude yeah I think I, it was a good for when i got there i got there about 3 30 so i think two bands had already played yeah but i saw new ski that was yeah i landed at new ski was good he's getting, jinxie was good he's getting jinxie good. always is good I, i'm always a fan of yeah that's that's a it. that's a good live show that is definitely a good live show and exotics always yeah, also a good, good live show. But so, I know I can run into the exotics. Anywhere. Again. Korchansky's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So sandwiching WMSC's backyard barbecue was Strummer Fest on the Friday. Yes, yeah. My it's, nephew's band played. Which oh, yeah? one? I don't know who it was. It's the, uh, the Joneses. Well, I should find out. Well, you know. Well, there were nine bands all Obscure doing. Obscure birds. Probably it sounds like him. Obscure birds. I think they're playing tonight. All somewhere. doing uh, Joe Strummer or Joe Strummer adjacent music. Yep. Clash. I think they they stuck a mix song in there. Yeah, maybe. They, they did sneak a big audio dynamite surprisingly in there. Yeah, but I was like, eh, but well, uh, yeah. of the night, I think they did between like three and five songs per band. Yeah, and it was awesome. Oh, it was. Uh, yeah. Except for standing up for four hours straight because my, my <laughs> back was not thrilled with that anymore. Uh, and my back, thank you, chiropractor Stephen, um, on the hill for bar- backyard barbecue, yeah, that did my back in. That's why I brought that chair. Yeah, that was a nice chair. I brought it back chair. for you. Thank you. Thanks for carrying it all the way home on your cargo bike. For yeah, me. it was hard, man. The thing weighs a lot. <laughs> I want to get one of those new... Uh, click chairs you just kind of go whoop pop and it yeah. turns into a chair otherwise oh. it looks like a water bottle kinda. oh like roswell alien material yeah you just go Ding, bing, 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 bing. Yeah, yeah. they're they're spendy <laughs> and i guess if i'm only using a chair a couple times a year it probably doesn't make sense but that uh that travel chair i have has been used on a lot of camping trips and oh yeah that's a nice chair nice yeah chair. it's very good for bike packing wasn't sure what was in that bag compact. when i got the next morning i'm like what's inside my bag <laughs> thought, it, thought it was like a dialysis machine or, or Bunch so, of condoms or something. something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Sex toys. Yeah. Well, and um, it was enjoyable watching uh, Daniel create his own mosh pits, chasing the yes. uh, the beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like he, he was not through. He was not going to let that ball go. No, no it no. Uh, was on my kitchen floor the next morning. There you go, <laughs> flat. Yeah. But yeah. it was on my kitchen floor. I surprised it didn't flat out there. Oh, it did. I blew it up several times. Oh. You know what, you, what? Next time we do Between a show like one, that and Daniel's there and there's a beach ball, we got to get like an action cam on him. Just one of those little Insta 360s or something. Let him run around. Oh, man. Put it right on his head like a unicorn horn and just let him bash through the crowd with it. I don't know what occurred, but I know that the uh, my 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 uh, <laughs> my humble part <laughs> music nemesis, the guy with the, the head. Oh, no, God, he's or, annoying. Yeah. Isn't he, though? But I, I, but I think what, there was there was something there was something involved with the flight plan of a Daniel and or review. He, you know, I think the whole stopped. deal is is he misjudged the fact that Daniel's only four because he's so big. He had no idea he was autistic, which adds to it. But man, did he throw that guy's water bottle like eighty yards or what? <laughs> I, he was good. so sick I of this guy trying to put it on his head. Wanted, yeah. yes, but, I but, so this guy, this guy no. irritates a lot of concert goers by dancing in front of the crowd with a bottle on his head. And he's endearing to many of them yeah. as well. Go down. It's, no. it's a delicate Get balance. The fuck out of here. So Daniel did exactly what I wanted to do, yes. is take that bottle off his head and throw it as far as I can. And he did. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> That's the guy didn't learn right. the first time. That's good life. stuff right there. I had a feeling that that was kind of the what happened, and it just made me smile. The guy tried to put it on a second time down, just like, wha-bam, and it's flying through the air. That's I'm nice. Like, yep, sorry, buddy. That's your boy. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you, in you, more lear- you learned him good. I would go over and apologize, but this time I'm like, yeah, just go with the kid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll uh, see him again next year. So on the, on the other end of the weekend was uh, Chris's slow roll. I missed that. Which, I don't know what year this is. This is probably six or seven, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> anyway. Somewhere in there. Could be. I don't think it's 10. It might. Uh, I yeah, don't know. I know we did the it's first-ish long. one. Yeah. That so, started in oh, It keeps one. flashing by you. It's freaking me out. What? Your phone or something's flashing. The what? sun. Where? I don't know. I just up. Where? What? No, that. Like light, a strobe. Oh, is light it that art. light? I don't know. Maybe. Um, did you see it too? So no, I just see a light bar right there. Uh, we'll talk about uh, Chris's slow roll after we talk to Chris. After we take this a call, is it Chris? Is it Chris? Yeah, could hey, it be? Hey, welcome to the radio program, caller. Who do we have on the line? Am I your flashing dot that everybody's seeing? <laughs> Pretty sure <laughs> you're. You're always a flashing dot, Chris. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> I'm a flash in the pan. <laughs> What's up? There's there's a voice we haven't heard on the old radio program no. for a while. Chris Daisy, everybody. Woo-hoo. No Do, kidding. Our, our in-studio audience is going nuts over here, Chris. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Panties are being thrown. So uh, for those of just to br- <laughs> just to bring everybody up to speed with, with Chris was uh, many, many years at Zion Cyclery. And uh, 
During the pandemic, you had the opportunity to step away. How'd that uh, come about? Uh, everybody went bike crazy and bought every single bike we had and then some. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of a golden opportunity to sell the rest of what I had remaining and uh, step on to, to different things and uh, not work weekends so much. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So it was like a once in a lifetime thing. If it wouldn't have happened that way, you'd still be doing that now, wouldn't you? Probably. Most likely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I was just I was just thinking back to how long I've actually known you since you were like 17, so 30 plus years. And uh Yeah, I definitely put enough years into the bike industry, so if I wanted to call it quits, I don't think anybody would have, you know, round on it too hard so <laughs> right on so uh what what what's been going on since then in your in your work life and or other things i mean one of the reasons that just got me to want to touch base again is your new uh band distant eye but before we get to that maybe you know i know you opened a, another business so how's how's that going yeah, I did uh, for a little uh, thing called Crazy Laser. It's a laser tag place. Um, we had like glow in the dark dodgeball and arcade games and things, and uh, it's been running for about three years. But um, my ADHD won't let go, so I'm closing that up as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mo- moving on. Moving on. Moving you know, on. I was, I went, I went from one. I went from one weekend heavy job, like straight into another one. And I'm like, okay. And all of a sudden my kids are entering junior high and I'm like 51 years old. I'm like, Whoa, wait a second. Like, uh, I've only got a few years left here before the kids fly the coop. And then I'll have, uh, all the time in the world. To Want mine? Do yeah. Things, right. So. Maybe, well, <laughs> Tony and I are both uh, losing a kid to the college tomorrow scene this year. Yeah. My son moves in the dorms tomorrow and so does oh. Tony's daughter. So, but yeah. if you need a four year old, Chris, I can ship him your way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm dreading that day where it's like, yeah, they're both gone and I'm an empty nester and just, sitting in this house empty and it's like okay i, I, I want to look back and know that i made the most of the time so it's uh, no regrets i mean it was a decent business but a lot of work a lot of hardcore back to back to back screaming kids birthday parties that will get to any man over time <laughs> like one day for me yeah yeah i always thought yeah. you know like a business like that i i had this idea for for doing a uh, a remote control car oriented business where it would travel and do birthday parties and stuff and i'm like oh i'll set it up and i'll tech the cars up and i'll make sure that track is top notch but i'm gonna need like uh somebody that wants to be a teacher from uwm or something to actually run the kid part of the show because i would i, I don't <laughs> i don't think that's my scene for you know a bunch of i just don't have the the brain capacity for it i guess well, ironically, the uh, place uh, in that same location that I'm at now, prior to the laser tag, was an RC track. Oh, cool. Um, oh, right but a little, a little bit more like adult orientated, uh, well, adult and kids. But uh, it's funny, the drummer in my band and his son used to do it. And he said the problem with those places is everybody would start racing at a certain location. And then, like, eventually all these kind of fights would break out, and over time, everybody would stop going. <laughs> wow. Uh, like, I mean, many like grown men fighting each other over toy cars. <laughs> right, yeah, for sure. Many years ago uh, in the Nut Factory, where, where I co- collapsed back into after the retail shop uh, closed, uh, we had a rock crawling uh, course and some smaller scale RC stuff that it was like a club. We'd, I had like eight or ten guys would come once a month. It wasn't like a full, a full fledged decent business, but it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you got to have some place to go play. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, as you mentioned, I mean that and the other thing has been uh, getting a new band together. Um, I'm playing with uh, original drummer I've been playing with for many years, um, Mark Rathundi, probably going on thirteen. 15 years now, I'd have to count them up. Uh, um, but then a friend of mine, Russ Spice, playing guitar, a guy I hadn't seen in almost a couple of decades, and then we kind of reconnected and started playing some music together again. Um, and then we kind of stumbled across his bass player. He wandered into the laser tag place one day with his kids, and 
we got to talking and realized that uh, I knew him from way, way back. And uh, weirdly enough, his grandfather and my grandfather were actually in a wedding band together uh, way back in the day. Wow. And and if so you, if you I was like, wow. I'm like, I hope you're really good, dude, because that's a really cool story. And I want to be able to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily, he's, he's a good bass player and uh, it's working out real good. His name is Todd Rutledge. And uh, his dad knows my dad, and it's like three generations of musicians that have That's kind of cool. played around with each other uh, off and on, yeah, this area. Does your, does your yeah, dad... Yeah, worked does, it out and uh, recorded about seven songs and got them kind of stamped out and out into the world now. Cool. Uh, just does, having some fun. Does your dad play also? Yeah, he's a drummer. Oh, right on. Uh, he played around, uh, yeah, him and my grandfather were in a wedding band also together in the... 60s and uh, uh yeah come kind of from a long line of uh musical gypsies <laughs> so uh i know have, we've all listened to the album right yep. yep yep i'm trying to put my finger on how i yep. would describe it to somebody who hasn't heard it yet and i'm not sure maybe oh. jk can paint a word picture a little better than i can i was ca- like right off track one it <clears throat> and i had it in the in my head before but there was a very like a Chili Peppers bass line vibe, and I, what the mm-hmm. hell song was it? Oh, it started me nuts. So the band is called Distant sure Eye, trip. right? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yes, I gotta listen. And to it's it on. Uh, you're on Bandcamp. I got a link in the show notes so people can check it out. Um, what got me excited? Yeah, Bandcamp soon. Uh, it'll be out on like Spotify and all the big ones too. There, we just uh, I uploaded it few days ago and it takes a little time to Sweet. make its way through the interwebs right on um i had i don't know i, I kept telling people yeah chris is going to be playing the show i think it's on thursday or something it, i guess it's actually on saturday this uh, the 7th right in kenosha oh yeah yeah it's a, that, that's gonna be a really fun uh show so this saturday september 7th at patty o's in kenosha they have a big like backyard area it's gonna be an outdoor gig there'll be a whole bunch of bands uh, cool. a couple of food trucks there's also stuff going on across the street at White Lilac, I believe, like some uh, uh, electronic music. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of artists, art vendors. I'm cool. actually going to be selling uh, <clears throat> paintings. My new thing is getting back into art and painting and that kind of weird stuff. I'll send you a, a photo to throw in the show notes. I'm nice. specializing right now in local Wisconsin fish. <laughs> awesome. So, well, now that you're... Crappies. Now that you're... Crappies. Couple, couple smallmouth bass. <laughs> I'm yeah. not... I'm not sure it matters, but uh, now that you're in Wisconsin, maybe uh, maybe you can do something for the WMSC art auction. Yeah, you should. Because you're, I mean, I've, uh, you've been doing oh, yeah. art for so long. It, it's so I've you've done a lot of great stuff that I've seen, and I know that you're very versatile. I, and we know people at WMSC. Yeah, it'd be a fun right. thing. Yeah, send me uh, info, and I'll uh, I'll look into that. Look into that. Yeah. Um, for sure. For sure. So the besides the band playing, so do you know what time you're playing yet in Kenosha, or is it just a general three p.m. Yeah. kind of start time? Yeah, we uh, we are kicking it off. We're uh, we're the brand new band, so we get to play first, even though we're probably the oldest guys there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be uh, three o'clock uh, is our start time, and then uh, the band's. Uh, uh, let's see. There's a actually there's a Milwaukee band, really cool band, the Resurrectionists. I don't know if you know anybody from them. Um, and uh, in several Kenosha bands, uh, Rebel and Rot is one of my favorites. Super heavy metal, like just crazy tear your head off style stuff. Um, and I uh, actually I don't have, I don't have them all in my head to list them all, but I can give you the link and uh, there's a big show poster and uh, definitely put that in your notes too. Yeah, I saw that there's at like four venues, there's stuff going on. So there's lots of bands happening that Saturday. Yeah, it'd be a really fun day. We did it before a couple of years ago um, with a different band and uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a really, really cool event. Very good. My so, dogs are going crazy because my bandmates are getting here because we're practicing for said event. Tonight. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Well, uh, Stone Cold yeah. Bush by Chili Peppers. That was what it was evocative of. So I could hear that doom, oh, okay. doom, doom, doom. Just the step, literally, the progression on. Yeah, you one. can pretty much hear like my entire seventies through nineties <laughs> uh, musical influences yeah, across was, the whole thing. The whole yeah, that, that one, that one, just picked like, and chose everything I like from everybody that I like. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah, that one just like I'm like I know this. 
I know this and I haven't heard this before, but I feel like I've heard this before. But I, you know, yeah. I, so I was, that was cool. I like what, what I thought. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that the base. I'm gonna call that the base player's fault then. And ah, not at all. I wouldn't say fault. <laughs> I wouldn't go with fault. That would that would say it would be a bad thing. But. I mean, the first the first thing I heard when I heard the what I thought when I heard the first track is that I didn't know Chris still had a keytar in his closet that he pulled out. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I, you I, even, I don't even like play guitar on this. Uh, on this, I've spent my whole life playing guitar, and then I, I played zero guitar on this first uh, recording. But uh, we got some other stuff where I'll, we'll be busting out some dual guitar solos and other surprises uh, down the road. So right on. stay tuned. Well, I look forward to it. Yeah. I've, I've always enjoyed your music, and this is no exception. Distant Eye, Bandcamp, and other associated uh, or uh, alternate music uh, listening thingies. And then September 7th in Kenosha. Awesome. Yes, for sure. See well, you there. We got to catch up more often, Chris. I appreciate you calling in. I know you got band practice coming up, and we don't want to keep you from your uh, from, from being ready for the show. So duty we will uh yeah, do well, yeah one of these days i'll get I'll, one of these days i'll get back on the bicycle for sure i swear <laughs> i swear well now that the beach is coming back maybe we can hit the sand again because yeah. that, that's a good thing so yeah. totally but remember I mean, remember no drinking of alcoholic beverages oh. in illinois state parks oh michael, <laughs> michael knows a lot about yeah, it. i know we, a, a, i think I it's pretty a, much like I, I think we got kicked out of that whole beach permanently. <laughs> two hundred and sixty-three dollars later, I know that you, you remember the gig. <laughs> well, it was a good thing, and we made the most use of it. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs> tell, tell that story after I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Thanks for calling in, buddy. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. All right, bye. Later. All right, Chris Daisy, everybody. Uh, uh, interesting to hear what he's been doing since the bike industry. We got to get uh, we got to get Tony a cough button. Yeah, right. I'm got that's, the sneezes and stuff. That's one thing that I would I would like to wire in one of these days. Is is I can just, hold a button down. Yeah, you cough. can. You have a box. You can. You can. That'd be ideal. You can do two things. You can adjust your own headset volume, and you can push the button to, to mute cut yourself. the mic until you are done are with done your hacking, hacking up, up a lung. lung over there. Okay um, then. <laughs> Right. Uh, or end up like Gene Belcher. <laughs> Just watch a great one. <laughs> yeah. You'd have all of the good ones like that. That was like the wedding DJ at, uh, at Kim's <laughs> son's. Oh, DJ. DJ. Dub, DJ. Dub. DJ. Dub DZ. Pow, pow, pow. Like, Speaking oh of people God. who use the one key to make the sound effect, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go ahead and check out the full cut of the River West 24 that I uploaded to YouTube. Uh, <laughs> towards the end when they're doing oh, the, yeah. the awards and whatnot, uh, Jeremy's son is... Yeah, the proc. Yeah, is well, it? first Jeremy goes something like, <laughs> uh-huh. I think we need a little more air horn or something. And he's like, okay. Yeah. But then it got like... It, all the time. Yeah, it, it was it, it was it, hilarious. I, I caught a bit of he that. He still has my gunner, by the way. Who does? Jeremy's son. Oh, yeah? Well, at least it hasn't got stolen yet. Well, I don't know that. Oh. <laughs> he might have had it stolen. hasn't told me. But. Well, I've been looking since so many bikes have been getting stolen. So, uh, James. But Steve. <laughs> Steven. Yep. Steven That's Tyler's. Bullshit. Yeah, his bullet. So, keep your eye out for a bullet with a CYC photon or a stealth. It beat the hell out of someone riding Stealth it. drive on it. Um, and oh, uh fucking frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, just I, everybody. I mean, you know, that sucks. But hopefully the gunner's still around. Right. Uh, so be, uh, did you ever tell your story? You probably told your story on, on the show about your $263 worth of Illinois Oh, yeah. Donations. We, had, we had at least one recount of that. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what episode it was. If we could find it, I'd put it in the show. Don't you? Yeah, the best part was the don't arrest this man. Yeah, do not arrest this, this person. Koozie. Oh, Sur- yeah, Surly Koozie. Which he wanted me to take yeah. off myself. And I'm like, well, fuck that. If you're going to charge me with something, you carry the beer with me, you know? <laughs> and I was like, dude. And I'm like walking back to his car like, what the shit is going on here, man? And, da, 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 da. and okay, he's lifting it out. And that's when I was like, oh, I'll just take a picture, whatever. Since we're talking about beer. <laughs> Curtis, and koozies. <laughs> courtesy, of, uh, courtesy of Tony's trip, trip to uh, well, Sheboygan, we the- got the three sheep's koozies. And courtesy of 
JK, we have the Three Sheeps beer. Which is Chaos Pattern, which i got to say I like even better than Fresh Coast. I'm on the fence. Chaos Pattern just kicks your ass. Mm. Fresh Coast, you can drink a dozen of it and not even think about it. Uh, True. Yeah. It doesn't help by priming the pump with the 7.7 sentient 5.0 That was your fault. Either. I went with the fake Budweiser at... I went with the 9% uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, and God. <laughs> it's a wine beer. Wine beer. Wine beer. Okay, then. It's like a barley wine, but not really. Okay, then. So, so before... Uh, I'm before... floating on treetop level. I've had two beers <laughs> in that one beer. In that one. Yeah, that's like <laughs> double your money. It's like actually a good value. Right. The same. Before uh, before Chris the called hacks, all we, the hacks today, <laughs> I, we were talking about uh, Chris's slow roll, and I just wanted to kind of mention what that's all about. Chris Kegel, oh, yeah. that's sad. Chris Kegel was the owner of Wheel and Sprocket and came down with a rare form of cancer several years ago and succumbed to it. And the Chris Kegel Foundation was started shortly after that, and Chris's slow roll is one of the fundraisers for that foundation. That does good stuff that involves bikes because his his uh, his kids at least some of his kids are still heavily involved no, with wheel and sprocket. No, no, I mean yeah. And you know what's even better? Eric's Milwaukee East Side shop going is out of closing. business. <laughs> Eric's can suck it. I sure hope that Mace isn't listening to this because Mace works for them. Stop it! You can't say the name. He laughs whenever 26, he talks. Twenty sixteen was the first year of the slow roll. Okay. Eight years then. In, in, do, my, in, my, in my math. math. In my math. In my math head. My math head. What's your phone doing? Is it making noise? It made noise. What's um, flashing? What was flashing before? Your phone when a call came in. Oh, that was well, because. Chris was calling in. No, no. He calls into the call in studio. Oh, call okay. in, call well, in studio. Something flashed line. on your phone. Probably twice. somebody left a message or something. All right. Because I have the light so I can see as well as hear. Very important when you're working, like, you know, dev. where it's very noisy. Or dev. What? Exactly. Um, oh, yeah. Two so, day, and, and the weekend, two days of Dave's what? Dave's, exactly. Dave's what? Dave's what? Dave's what? Dave's what? Dave's what? Right. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. Yeah. Him and uh, you, Sam. Him and Sam. And, Sam you ran yeah, them both? At uh, Uptowner, of all places, on Swimming. Saturday. Before, you did, but I didn't. Yeah, before yeah. heading down to the MSC Backyard Barbecue. You did, but I didn't. But I saw Dave, too, uh, another time on the slow roll. On the slow roll, yes. Which, and, and they were still having uh, anxiety about my uh, my chain tensioner not being chain tensioned the way that properly they the, want it. Yeah, You're not riding well, a fucking Harley. It's it's not it's, it's not exactly in the orientation it's supposed to be. Well, it sh- has the chain fallen off. Actually, it did on the oh, ride. But <laughs> I, that, that was because I like I, that's because I just like threw it on the ground. But I mean that just is what'll happen. But it just pops right back freaking on. It, yeah, well. it that's, also it's that, a it's a machine that is it's it's got simple things on it, and I that's how I like it, just just like that. But it's funnier than hell to just watch them like just. Tie themselves in about knots it. about like well, especially do, Sam. Do, 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 Sam do, do, probably do. hasn't slept for three days because of that. <laughs> it's a it's a surly <laughs> guy. it's a surly singulator. It's a right. very simple thing. Right. I don't right. think the spring in it springs as it sprung in the past when it was new. No, it ain't no spring. What? It it ain't just, no spring. Maybe there should be one. Yeah, it's missing. See, a spring now then. that is the problem. <laughs> that that is, is the problem. Like that's why I don't do. I try not to do derailers. That's why I try to say single speed. Well, guess here's what? what you do. Boing! Here's that's what you where do. the goddamn spring goes, and then I'm stuck in okay. one speed anyways. No, I'm and there I there am back at single speed again. Here's your point. Get rid of that stupid thing and get a horizontal dropout bike, and then you don't have to worry about it at oh, all. Get rid of that bike. Are you kidding me? That's you've got the, the you've got the paddy wagon sitting in wait. Yes, I've got others. Yes, but this thing is just I'm you've driving got your this surly too. I I'm trying driving... to ride that in ages. I got a flat, and I'm just too lazy to fix it. You got another flat? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just too lazy. Dude, well, it's just a flat. flat. To be fair, it's not an easy. It's f- not an easy fix. <laughs> you go ahead and try and get that tire off. I'll that try rim. it. Bring it to me. I'll try it, and I'll bitch too. Whatever combination. I've heard it's hell because it's the factory setup with whatever Alex Rim and WTB tires on a surly, whatever the hell that what thing it's was a, yeah, called. It's an Alex Rim and a uh, blah, 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 WTB blah, 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 blah. something something. No, it's it's a uh, they're surly. It's got the two five on it. It's dirt, a big, uh, dirt big, wizards. Oh, it's dirt, a dirt lizard. Oh. oh, it's a surly tire. Well, whatever it is. That thing bites on that that uh, bead with a tenacious grip. Yeah, 
I mean, I, I do my heel trick when yeah. I can't do anything else. That didn't work. Exactly. You haven't brought in Strongman Sam yet? Oh, he well, said, Steven can do it because he's got thumbs of of power. But uh, the I, guy at Pinnacle, when Pinnacle was around, was able to do it thumb thumb wise. Thumb like, of power, and yeah. I was like, "Ha! Well, well, okay, you made me feel stupid." These but. I don't have any leverage. Look how right. short my thumbs are. Right. There's Charlie! no leverage there. And this my one, thumbs. and this one still thumbs. hurts a lot. So I only have one thumb now. <laughs> if we go back in all of our podcasts, you have done that bit <laughs> ten times. I'm betting. I'm not. I would say it's at least that many. <laughs> oh yeah. Daddy. But, but th- it's one it. of the greatest movies of all time. Yeah, I agree. I agree. When you, yes, you have to reference the thumbs. Uh, here's something for Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony, here. And if you want one, I will order it because this is too good a deal to pass up. Grin has a phase runner, which is their fancy big, yeah, I'm aware. their big controller that they spec the wrong MOSFET in or something. And Normally, that goes up to 72 volts, and the MOSFET has to handle all that voltage. But because it was spec wrong, it can't do the 72 volts. So it only does 36 volts. Instead of $350, $100. For the controller? For the controller. Yeah, I need one of those because I yeah. need a spare. Except we have to f- see if we can get an L10 connector to whatever whatever the little, the little 9-pin yeah. that we have yeah. Yeah. is as an adapter or somehow got to do our own soldering but if you have a 36 volt bike you want to do and i'm a big fan of 36 volt bikes now unless you really got to go fast smaller batteries same capacity absolutely don't worry about absolutely. it. absolutely um they had a thousand of them so they're gonna have to get they're gonna have to do they got to do something with them and they're yeah, getting for rid, 100 bucks I'll they're getting rid of them for 100 bucks so i'll order those tomorrow but uh yeah that and then uh what else we got on here oh that that Burnsy from Oddity Cycles makes some, just some silly, silly, awesome bikes. They just had the Maid Show in oh that Portlandville, Portland. somewhere out that way. Uh, and the bike that he had at the show is just like you got to be kidding me, dude! This is so badass. There. Take a look, take a look. There's a picture. Show notes. Uh, Show yeah, notes. this what this version of it came from the Radivist. So check those guys out too. And riding it oh, that's all when you the way me. back. Yeah, that, that that's yeah. nuts. The start of. Since we've talked to you all last, on uh, the Thursday was the foundation with that knob Brian Ritchie. Oh, that was Zen, fantastic. And the Zen Gardeners. Nice. Cactus Mike, Mike Kasperzak, who I ran into this past Monday at the last of the music events at Lake Park. Was he bass playing? No, he was hard blowing. Watching. Oh, he was watching. Oh. Yeah. So I ran into him and Zito and. What's his face? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, River West Ted. One guy you always see that. Like, River West Ted was everywhere this weekend, too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. he's the one that saw uh, Green Day <laughs> walk past us. Oh, yeah. Those I was two. talking to River West Ted. All right. So. And, and I'm like, wait a minute. That's the dude from Green Day. He's like, yeah, I know. I don't know talked I, to him right away. I don't know if Billy Joe was there or not, but they were all over. They went to Lakefront Brewery for a fish fry. Went to the yeah. Bronze Funds. Oh, no, oh, I saw hell. him walk right by. R- R- oh, um, dude, R- if I... Runs the bases at uh, Miller Park. Oh, yeah. did he? Yeah. Oh, if I would have run into damn Trey Cool, he was the one that had the bag, oh, the backpack of weed in the late 90s when he stopped at when the he got station. busted, yeah. No, he didn't get busted with that. He just wanted to blow some weed in the in our office, but our program director was in the room, and the, he was like, no, we can't do that in here. And it was like, <laughs> it's a radio station. What do, you mean? what do you mean? I'm like, how non- WKRP, can you be? Son All right, it's Dr. Johnny Fever. <laughs> All right, everybody, we did it again. Thanks, Chris. For the love of God, I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> Les, <laughs> Les Nessman. One of the best quotes of um, any show. Ever. Thanks to Chris Daisy for calling in. If you uh, have a free Saturday the 7th coming up this week, Saturday, go check that Come band out in Kenosha. Yeah, that would be my birthday, pre-birthday weekend. And by the way, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very nice birthday. A deleted or I'm belated. Old de- a deleted. deleted. <laughs> a belated birthday. A deleted a birthday. Belated birthday to I'll you. take a delete if I can start, you know, being no, that's what I, again. Yeah, I that's what I did. I hit the 50 and I'm, I'm talking and walking it backwards. Talking I'm okay with it. Talking and close. walking it backwards. Dude, are you going to get to 20 going backwards or are you going to get to... I don't know. Sure. Are you going to get to 15 it's, it's maybe? It's bad when your daughter keeps asking you, you're like 63, right? Mm. Does like, this... You are such a bitch. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. She knew it was, she was doing it all on purpose because uh-huh. she's a smart Did you girl. ever tell her she can be replaced because? I told her she's getting her ass out of the house come tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going right. to sleep in her room just to piss her off. Good luck to, uh, oh. now, now I have two rooms. I got we, Sydney's room and, uh, 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 well, Garrett will, Garrett will come back, I'm sure, during breaks she, and summers. But. I, I know she's going to come back. You know what's going to be parked in her room? Bikes. You, your butt on her bed? Uh, yeah, well, no, yeah, like, that's gross. No, but bikes on her bed. <laughs> bikes no, on her that's bed. like my place with the den, which is just Mike's, or JK's, just tchotchke collection, all my VHS. Is that oh. That's not the front room. That's the side the room. The side right? room, yep. Yeah, yep. I remember that room. Yep, yep, yep. And that's where you get the good posters put up and all that other stuff. All right. Next week, folks. We'll do this again. Allegedly. Oh.